every time. We run it like champs. Respect. It'd be even faster if I wasn't commentating. Yeah. What's up? Cut it off at 730. Yo, it's 8.20 and someone's trying to register Yeah, this for is ridiculous. Seven. We had Icer drop out last minute, which is why that one rando is seated really high. We put them in last minute and now both of them got a flat tire and they're both late. So we made DQ with them both. But anyway, let's go into this. Yeah, yo. I love Tri DQing people. Uh, no, Yoshi seems like a normal choice for the first stage, I guess. Yeah. I've seen DJ go here a lot. This is... Yeah, I would, I would avoid this... If I was, you know, for my characters, I would avoid this against Fox. And I assume because Ices are uh, floaty, you would try to avoid it too. But well, I guess platforms help them. Also, like, if they get, like, a random, like, down smash at bad DI, it's just like... That too, yeah. I didn't think of that. And, like, you're going to kill Nana anyway, you know? Yeah, DJ's very good at killing Nana. So is Moon. That was a super good platform lead. Yeah, wow. you can tell right there. Fryko ran in and just exposed his Nana. TJ could have taken it right there. TJ is very, very good at like not putting himself in a bad position, which makes him kind of the floaty killer. Yeah. Uh, he's amazing like, with Fox against Peach, against Samus. Uh, he beat Duck. He's beaten, I don't know, lots of people. And like Ice Climbers are all about like, it's hard for them to really like, I missed the jab reset. It's hard for Ice Climbers to really like force Fox to get in a bad position, but um, they kind of depend a little bit on mistakes. Um, and oh no! DJ's not making them. I can't believe that didn't grab. No, that doesn't grab the ledge. Oh, it doesn't. It I doesn't. Know it never that. does. Yeah, look at that. Frycook just did a full hop bear and then up air, and DJ literally just stood there. Like I'm not gonna jump into your moves. Three. That's three. Yeah, he's doing these double jump up airs and double jump aerials. Yeah, he literally just did three. Um, aerials and they all missed. Then he did four and finally the last bear hit, but then he couldn't even get the edge guard. I mean, uh, I've been, I was talking to our Guardian Knight, a New York City player, about PP and why he's so amazing. And it's because he's extremely precise. And PP once said that his philosophy in Melee is very few inputs, very high reward per input. And that's not quite what we're seeing here. But we're seeing it through DJ. He'll just do two shines. And then all of a sudden Nana's dead and then he starts fighting. Oh yeah, let them hang themselves, just run into you every time and yeah. just punish. Yeah. I mean Nana's gonna jump every single time. She acts only one way, she's a CPU. Yeah, Nat, once you for all the people who complain about ice climbers, once you realize how easy it is to isolate and kill Nana with whatever character you play, you find that one way of doing it and it just it murders them. Yeah, yeah. I mean without like, Nana it's just Sobo can't do anything. Unless it's a chain grab on you and even then. I mean, he has tech chases. More tech like, chases, yeah. Still but it's still Sopo when you have Wobbling taken out. Oh, no, he went right out. I mean, yeah, he tried to like mix it up. I mean, he was going to get up smashed if he didn't try something. Yeah, right? he knew he couldn't go forward. He would have gone out of hit stun purely. This is, uh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, that's they are way too slippery. Yeah. Algebra is saying DJ lost to Ralph. Yeah, I think um, DJ might have a, not a Falco problem, but it's not his best matchup. He's yeah, definitely way better versus West Coast is just too good. Oh, sorry, DJ won. Okay. Found here, James. Uh, DJ must have banned FD. Yeah, obviously. Right? And so this is the stage of the next least platforms, at least sometimes, right? Yeah, I like mini FD. Yeah. Once every whatever it is, two minutes, I don't know. Yeah, DJ was, I mean, he's using these platforms extremely efficiently. This is actually kind of similar to the way Overflow. I, not at the last break. Think maybe Overflow the, plays like DJ. He'd be happy in to this that. matchup. In this matchup, I saw like I commentated Overflow versus uh, Frycock, and he Ooh, lost. Covered but, it. Uh, commentated it, but um, it's close. But yeah, all you foxes, take notes. But uh, Frycock actually pulled into the lead for the first time this set. Yeah, that was a quick one too. He only had twenty percent. Yeah, these up smashes with the platforms are pretty nice. Okay. Nana was way too far. Yeah, DJ trying to. He couldn't even try to upbeat a saver. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, there's no that way to was get on stage. Like perfect option coverage. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's a Smash Studio stream layout. What's it's um, Jaxel's looking at Smash Studios for what the fox. I don't really like that. No, they're not exactly a high-end stream. No. 
I like it when the um actually they have high end skill of these. Yeah. Jaxel, he streams what was it, Apex twenty twelve. Yeah. Yeah, and the Apex layout for that was, was really nice because it was like the the game was in the center, right? The video was in the center. Then the yeah, other I don't like that side stream. That's like a you and your friends at home stream. That's not a tournament stream. Yeah. Okay, I'm surprised. Yep, yeah, that's that. I like that's Jaxel's how you do stream. it. I'm not just saying that because I'm on his stream. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, DJ uh, holding Fragile. That's smart. Yeah, I never thought of just like holding him and waiting. Yeah, that, like no, that's really good. Uh, Frycook went out and saved Nano last time, so just hold him and. Oh, nice magnet. Yeah, that was good awareness. And then no Frycook was shielding and kind of just waiting for DJ to do something like unsafe, and DJ was like, nope. And now he pulls him to the lead. Uh, yeah, maybe DJ wants to go to the other side because of the platform, but it's pretty low right now. So okay, now there's the platform guy. Yeah, look at Frycook. He's like, um, he just whiffed like ten moves in a row, and uh, DJ just stood still. Yeah, part of me wants to say, it's it's not correct. It's it's proper for him to try to wall him out with aerials, but I really can't tell like what he's doing wrong. It's mainly just spacing, I guess. And too I mean, many. he's. So he does need to do something to keep Fox out, because Fox can just run in every time. But DJ's not trying to get in. Yeah, I don't know. What, those are forward airs, right? Like, what, yeah. What is he doing? He just, now, the up airs and the bears didn't work. Now he's trying forward airs, you know? Now he's trying forward smash. I mean, he seems completely lost here. Uh, I have him. Yeah, DJ has his effect on people. Kirby Kaze calls it the good player effect. It's not that they're doing anything complicated, it's just you're so overwhelmed by just like their positioning or even the idea of facing them and you just lose all your, your you don't lose your autopilot, but your autopilot degrades very quickly to, you know. Yeah, I mean. Oh, that was nice. I think people often, if only. Uh, when they're not doing very well, they revert back to their autopilot, which just makes them play worse. Yeah, I, I definitely have that.